getting started. The first thing you need to do after the purchase of a laptop is to condition the battery. What is conditioning? It basically means charging the laptop for 12 hours, while laptop is in off state. Remember this is to be done before the first usage and only once. Most of us do the mistake of using the laptop while connected to AC power, all the time. Alert! This is not advisable. Use the laptop on battery mode up to 20% of its capacitance, and then recharge it again to 100%, at least once in two days, to maintain the capacitance of the battery. This will keep your battery healthy. Also keep in mind not to use the battery below 10%. This is not advisable, did you know? That batteries have a lifespan of maximum 18 months, or say 500 charge-discharge cycles. A charge and a discharge cycle basically mean charging the battery up to 100%, and discharging it to 20%. While on charge it's normal that the charger gets heated, this is common, you need not worry about it. Let me now show you, how exactly you can increase the battery backup of your laptop, in day-to-day -day usage. 50% of your battery power is consumed by the LEDs, behind the LCD display of your laptop. Brighter the display, higher is the power needed by LEDs hence reducing the backup. So what you need to do is, control the brightness of your laptop using the function keys, which all laptops have. When you are in a bright place, especially when using laptop on battery, 10-15% to of your battery power is used up by the radio devices, like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, as they regularly scan for network or devices. So it is advisable to turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, when not in use. When you want to shut down your laptop, use the hibernate option instead of the normal shutdown. What's the difference? A normal shutdown closes all the active applications at shutdown, and starts the applications from scratch at restart. While the Hibernate shutdown saves a snapshot of the activities on your laptop into the hard drive, and resumes the applications at restart. So basically Hibernate takes less time and relatively less battery power. There is another option that is the standby mode. Why standby when you have Hibernate you ask? Well standby is similar to Hibernate takes snapshots of the activities on your laptop, but, unlike Hibernate it saves it on the RAM, which is a temporary memory and needs minuscule amount of power to keep things alive. Thus standby is very handy, when you are on the go, and need the applications to be active, so that you can resume your work. Consider your clothes which had to be placed in an Almara, and food items are spread all over the room, and everything else is unorganized, so you need to organize things to have easy access. The same thing is what defragmentation does with your hard drive. What happens when you store data in your hard drive, and why defragmentation is really necessary for good battery backup. When you want to save some data on a laptop, what the hard drive will do is it will basically write over here and up till here. And when you have another application that you want to install, it will not be written in serial order, instead it is stored in some random location and then it will take another space on the hard drive, and it will keep on writing everything in a very random way. The data will not be serialized from lowest memory location through to the highest memory location of the hard drive. And small gaps occupy hard drive space which is a waste of memory space. The hard drive of your laptop has a motor and an arm which stores and accesses data from the hard disk. And when you access the files, the OS searches for the file all over the hard drive and this process is very fast. And so the arm has to move a lot and hence load on motor and more power is consumed. Steps for defragmentation Open my computer. Right click on any drive which you want to defrag. Click on properties, tool, click on defragment now. This is how your hard disk looks after defragmentation. You already know that the hard drive has a motor in it, so it consumes more power. RAM on the other hand is temporary memory, has no motor. So if your laptop has more RAM memory say 8GB or 4GB, at least then the load is on the RAM, and not on the hard drive hence more power is saved. We suggest you to use laptop in a cooler place, to increase the efficiency of the battery. Yes using laptop in a cool place means the fan in your laptop which is meant to cool the inside of the laptop remains off. Hence less power is derived from the battery, whereas if laptop is used in hot place the fan vents all the heat, 
that is generated in the laptop on the outside, more often hence power consumption is more. You can also save the battery power by closing all the unwanted background programs, as every program has a process in the system, and it consumes certain amount of battery, certain amount of CPU power, certain amount of hard drive and certain amount of RAM. You can reduce the number of unnecessary background programs, by pressing Ctrl, Alt plus Delete. You will see the Task Manager pop up, where you can remove those processes. It's now time for Andy's awesome tips, that would help increase battery life. Do not connect USB drives for a long time. Never work on laptop during the fragmentation, and do not defragment your hard drive before 4 months, as it takes a lot of time. Check Task Manager for unwanted background programs. Always look for large RAM memory when buying a laptop. Avoid using DVD drive or USB drives when using laptop on battery. Copy content from these devices to the laptop hard drive. Unplug the charger in bad climatic conditions, and use the laptop on battery mode as it might be prone to spikes and surges. Before going on a vacation, remove the battery and keep in a cool and dry place. Keep the metal contacts free from dust, you can do this by cleaning it with cotton and alcohol.